Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we hung out with Junpei for a little bit. It was pretty fun because we got to sort of just hang out and have fun. I mean, I guess that's most of this game is hanging out and having fun with friends, but we we don't really get to do that with Junpei a lot. So it was just real nice to have a talk with him. And, and you know, he started to like sort of drop his whole facade at the end because like, not to not to say that Junpei is like a genius or anything, but like this whole like carefree guy who doesn't care about anything and just like complete nutter buffoon. It's not like a hundred percent true about his character. There is definitely some like emotional depth to him. It's just we have to sort of find that. How's it going, Chairman? I don't want to hear that your grades are slipping because you're spending too much time in Tartarus. There's nothing I can do to help with that. So study hard and do your best in summer school. Right, we also have to go to summer school tomorrow because the out of universe reason is that, you know, the game devs just want to give us something to do during summer vacation. The in universe reason is that because of all the Tartar stuff we've been doing, we don't have a, we haven't really gotten a lot of time to study. And that kind of reflects with us because if we look at our stats, yeah, we're not doing so great with academics. So we're going to change that this summer. I get not wanting to attend summer school, but I think it's necessary. After we defeat the rest of the Shadows, we'll become ordinary high school students again. And if we fall behind in our studies now, we'll be in big trouble later. <laughs> That's it. Junpei the Wise is yet another brilliant idea. All I have to do is become a dog. Then <laughs> I won't have to go to summer school either. <laughs> yes? Hmm? Koro-chan is trying to say something. I bet he's complimenting me for being so smart. I bet he's laughing at you, saying how stupid you are. Stupé. <laughs> mm. Summer school starts tomorrow. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I'm dreading yeah, it. Seriously. Damn right. Hey, Koromaru, wanna switch places with me? So yeah, let's go ahead and show off this mechanic here, because I actually really like it. Koromaru is looking at me with pleading eyes. He seems to want to go for a walk. Let's take him for a walk. Oh god, it's you. Oh, hey, what's up? Is that your dog? Wow, he looks like a smart one. Unlike his owner. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, how's life, man? And I love how the girl in that show has this mature vibe, you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. You... Ah! Whoa! Looks like this guy's had his fair share of fun. Guess we should start heading home then. See, it's cool! Komaru and I return to the dorm. Not a moment too soon. Our first walk with Koromaru was kind of a bust, but it does kind of show that we get to hang out with our social links outside of, you know, average social link time, which is pretty cool. There's also some other stuff we can get for it, so I'll definitely keep an eye out for when Koromaru wants to go for a walk. Summer school starts today. It's about time to leave. Morning! Ooh, it's already so hot at this hour. By the way, have you heard anything about the dates for the health checkup? That's another thing I forgot to talk about, is that Ikutsuki went ahead and set us up for a bunch of health checkups because, you know, again, we've been fighting shadows this whole dang time, so we're not exactly in the best of health either mentally or physically. I haven't. I'll just be honest. Jeez. What? Really? I told Junpei to let you know. Yours is August 14th, Yuki-kun. Anyway, it's seriously way too hot out here. Let's hurry and get inside. I need to be in a classroom with air conditioning. Stat. First day of summer school. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to the lecture. I'm pretty sure academics is the hardest stat to level up because... And so it's going to take a while to actually get to rank 6. Oh, God, why you? Okay, get out the Edogawa leaderboard. Let's see. Let's get on with today's I know it's hot, everyone, but let's just try and get through class. Focus, pocus. E he he. Still, who would have thought people would actually attend this course over the summer? You sure are a curious lot. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Well, anyway, let's talk about something interesting today. All your all you future magicians will want to pay close attention. E he he. Today's subject is tarot. That's right, those cards often used in fortune telling. Despite or originating in 15th century Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. 
There are a variety of tarot card decks, including the Marcel and the Rider decks. I totally butchered that. But today, in honor of the great Crowley, we will be using the Thoth deck. So, First, let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 card tarot deck is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards, and 56 minor arcana, or number cards. The minor arcana are also sometimes called pip cards. The major arcana feature a variety of illustrations on their faces, beginning with the fool and ending with the universe. They tell a story in numerical order that represents an individual's journey through life. Each major arcana represents a stage on that journey, and each stage represents an event an individual must experience to achieve wholeness. Let's do just that. They are all important, so let's take a look at each of the 22 cards one by one. The first card, numbered zero, is the Fool. It represents beginnings and suggests infinite possibilities. In other words, the beginning of life. The next card, the Magician, represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. The High Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. The Empress represents both motherhood and maternal love as well as one's vitality. The Emperor is an opposing card. It represents fatherhood as well as leadership and decision-making skills. The Hierophant represents formality and knowledge. It is a symbol for religion. The Lovers represent choice. Here, the individual finally begins to develop a conscious. The chariot represents the individual's victory, but only a momentary one. Justice is exactly what it sounds like, knowing what is right and wrong. The hermit represents self-reflection, in other words, searching for answers deep within one's heart. Fortune represents fate, and the opportunity it brings. Strength represents both passion and self-control. It is depicted as power with reason. The hanged man reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual death awaits the individual with a thirteenth card, which is aptly named Death. Death is considered a transitional card. With death, the old ends and the new begins. Now, let us move on to what happens following the transition. Temperance is the balancing of opposites. Opening one's eyes to the world allows for growth, and then an encounter with the devil is where one faces temptation. At the tower, the individual's values will start to collapse. It seems as if there's nothing to believe in. The individual then finds a glimmer of hope in the star, granting one peace and serenity. In turn, this makes one felt vulnerable to the moon's illusions, which gives way to the fear and trepidation. But the individual may be rewarded with a bright future by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at the journey's end, when looking back on the path one has traveled. The final card is the universe, which represents an individual reaching full awareness. And that's the growth of an individual as explained by the tarot cards. Perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home with you young folks just yet, hmm? Ehehe. <laughs> well, now you can all use now you can use all seventy eight cards to divine the future in detail. But most people only use the twenty two major arcana. Okay, next let's talk about fortune telling using the major arcana. First you'll need to shuffle the cards. If a card is reversed, its meaning will change. Now, this is important, so pay attention. Oh my god, that went on for way too long. <laughs> Mr. Edogawa continues to drone on and on. Despite the summer heat, I managed to pay attention to his lecture. That one actually was pretty interesting because it talked more about tarot cards, which is an important thing in the Persona series. And it talked about starting off the journey with the Fool card. And, you know, we the protagonist are the Fool card. And we sort of, we've gone around and talked to different people who represent the different tarot cards. It's very interesting to think about. So we'll have to keep an eye out for the Universe card. And that's how we'll know that our journey has reached the end. It's the third day of summer school. Despite the summer heat... So, as you can see, days are just passing by very quickly. We don't even go back to the dorm for nighttime. It's just letting the days pass us by while we're sitting through summer school. Fourth day of summer school. Yes! Academics level four. So we've only, we've only got two ranks away, and then we'll just be completely done with social stats. We won't need to worry about them anymore for the rest of the game, which excites me a lot. Oh, today's a or August 14th. I almost said April 14th. It's August 14th, which means this is going to be our, uh, yep, our hospital trip. I need to stop by Tatsumi Memorial Hospital on the way back later today.
Oh my fucking god. <laughs> All right, we'll definitely need to stop by the hospital on our way back because he's gonna knock us into a coma, apparently. I, uh, now let's begin. Yod hey, vav hey. How are you all handling the heat? I could brew you some of my special tea if you'd like. E he he. Now, let's continue with our special summer course, The Truth Behind Magic. I'll be talking about Kabbalah. I assume all of you have at least heard of Kabbalah, yes. It is known as the mystical study of the Hebrew scriptures, but as I've mentioned before, it had a great impact on Western sorcery. It has been said that to learn the secrets of magic, you must first understand Kabbalah. Okay, then. So, who is the person who formed this incredible ideology known as Kabbalah? Well, according to legend, it was Moses. Yes, that Moses. The Moses who gave us the Ten Commandments and split the Red Sea. But in reality, it was formulated by a group of rabbis long, long ago. However, because it features such a complicated, coded system, Kabbalah did not become known to the Western world until much later. Now it is important to note that there are many different ancient methods of deciphering Kabbalah. For example, there is Gematria, the interpretation of text by replacing letters with the numbers they represent. There is Notericon, where you have where you take a letter from each word to form another sentence or thought. There is also Temera, a method where letters of words are replaced, thereby giving the sentence a new meaning. All these different methods make it difficult to fully comprehend Kabbalah. So, continuing on. Now, one of the most important ideas of Kabbalah is the Tree of Life, comprised of the Ten Sephirot. Most illustrations depict it as a chart shaped like a tree. The ten nodes represented by the se Sephirot and, tw and the twenty-two paths connecting them all come together to form a map of God's creation and the spiritual ascent of man. Where did we come from? Where are we going? These answers lie in the Sephirot. When training your magic, it's important to picture the Sephirot every so often, and when you are meditating, you should focus on the Sephirot as well. This is going to be on the test, you know. They say knowledge is another form of magic, so study hard. If you find yourself struggling, well, you may wish to turn in, turn to the Sephirot. Ee hee hee. By the way, did you all notice that I, that I said there were 22 paths? <laughs> yes, that's right, the same as the number of major arcana I spoke of before. Ee hee hee. Now continuing on, according to Kabbalah, existence is broken up into four worlds. Oh yes, before I forget, I'll be giving supplementary lessons at the nurse's office at the, uh, as of the second semester. I'm thinking of doing demonstrations with tarot cards. As such. But I won't have time for that during the lecture, so if you're interested, stop by after school. Everyone is welcome. Ee hee hee. Alright, that one was much shorter than the previous one. I guess this episode is just dedica dedicated to Mr. Edegawa. I'll have to put his face on the thumbnail, I guess. One thing that I forgot to mention, uh, I guess because I was just so depressed because it, uh, Mr. Edegawa appeared. August 11th, the day that we sort of skipped by, uh, is Shinjiro Aragaki's birthday. You'll remember Aragaki. He's somewhat, ac he's somewhat acquainted with Sonata. And... You know, he's real mysterious and stuff like that. We don't know too much about him. But yeah, he just turned 18 the other day, so happy birthday to him. I should go to the Tatsumi Memorial, Memorial Hospital for my checkup. Absolutely. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. No matter how long that checkup is, there's no way it was any longer than one of Mr. Edogawa's speeches, so it was absolutely no issue to me. Um, that's all right. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. Although, we could have done it another time and taken a full day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you've performed so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? Uh, none at all. Good to hear. And I don't think there will be any issues with your test results either. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done. Especially you. 
Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown. And we've even figured out how we can eliminate the Dark Hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past ten years. <laughs> I'm afraid I can only support you from behind the scenes. But I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? Oops, excuse me for a second. Hello? Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh-huh. Yes. It's missing from that document? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? Looks like he received an urgent call. I should head back to the dorm alone. Iwatodai, Iwatodai, this is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. Oh, it looks like you're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. You were starting to get worried. Um, did you run into any trouble? Uh, my checkup took a while. Oh, I see. I hope everything's alright. I'll let Kirijo senpai know. We're in the command room right now. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm sure you'll be fine, but considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe. Uh, thanks. the others quick oh, wait. oh my and what have we here so much power so much chaos I'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator and on top of that we have an unexpected guest tonight not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little predicament, how do you intend to partake? I'm here to help. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, is it? Sound reasoning. What a hapless night, is it not? Well then, shall we begin? Well, that's not good. I haven't level grinded at all in Tartarus, so... Uh, I'm hoping that you can go ahead and carry me, buddy. Hmm, so that's your strategy. You make a good target. Little... Let's see. We don't have Fuka with us because she's busy ga gathering the others and she doesn't really have like a, a an easy way to get to us, so. I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. This too is fate. Ah, that sucks. Best option would be to heal at the moment, so I'll just use one healthy tomato. Let's see how much that heals. That was quite the spectacle, but it's time to end this. Not this. As a reward for your efforts, let me show you my power. Come, persona. How about this? The 
finale was surprisingly unsatisfying, was it? The defeated shadow seems to have dropped something. Hmm. Your persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? Makoto Yuki. I'll see to it that I remember. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you alright? Did you already defeat the Shadow? Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. I had help. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay. I explained what happened on our way back to the dorm. It was really cool getting to fight side by side with Takaya there. Uh, cause you don't get to do that in the yes. original version of the game. That's one of the many scenes that they added in the remake. Just so dang cool. His persona looks awesome, by the way. Oh, there you are. You had a long night, huh? On that note, let's not go to Tartarus tonight. Uh, got it. Wasn't gonna do it anyway. I'm sorry. Thanks. I'd like to look into Strago with the chairman's help. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Also, I understand your circumstances. Also, I understand your circumstances last night, but try to avoid staying out late from now on. Last day of summer school, already! Nice! Obviously we're not gonna get a level up here, but, you know... Our reward is the feeling of a... What is it? Like... Instead of being rewarded with a higher social stat, instead we're rewarded with the feeling of accomplishment, or whatever. Uh, nice, we got 20 Mad Bulls, 10 Isotope Sodas. I'm not entirely sure how much SP... <sighs> Uh, isotope sodas up, so I'll I'll get some. I'll so I'll check my menu in just a second. At least summer school is over now, but doesn't it feel like we kind of wasted our summer vacation? I'll have to make a bunch of plans to make up for it. I wonder if anything's going on soon. I am currently aware of a summer festival tomorrow and a film festival the following day. Oh, oh that's right. Wait, I guess are you thinking about going to the festival? Yes. Indeed. My data indicates that festivals and other events of that sort offer unique experiences. So, for investigative purposes, I plan to infiltrate such a shindig. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I'll try not to stand out too much. Nice, so the uh, film festival, summer festival, all that stuff is stuff that I'm going to get to in just a second. Kormaru we can actually go on a walk with now, so maybe we'll run into someone who's actually kind of pleasant. It looks like Kirijo Senpai and Sonata Senpai went out again. How do they still have energy after summer school? I'm so tired, I think I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. Oh. Sorry, I accidentally skipped over your dialogue. I know we haven't been going very often because of summer school, but we don't have much of a choice in the matter. Uh, what did you- Crap, that's not what I- Where's the log? There it is. I play so many so many different games with dialogue that, like, each of the games have a log button, and they're all on different parts of the controller. Kirijo senpai and Sonata senpai aren't around, so I don't think we could go to Tartarus tonight. Stuff we already knew. Yes. I have learned the meaning of the summer festival. It seems it's like a very interesting event. I am looking forward to equipping the special armor known as Yukata. This will be a new experience for me. Uh, Junpei, we could hang out with you if we wanted, but I'm not going to. L1 is the map, okay. For some reason, I'm forgetting all of the controls. I remembered them all, like, between my two-month break, but I'm recording this the day after the last episode, so I don't... <laughs> I think we actually got a lot done today. We went through the entirety of summer school, saw Edogawa twice, and we got to fight alongside Takaya, which was really cool. Uh, we didn't do too much, but you know what? Takaya kind of carried us in that battle, so everything turned out just fine. We also learned 
about some stuff like the tarot cards, and we learned that, you know, there's something different about us, seemingly. Uh, the chairman mentioned that, you know, it's like they had waited 10 years for us to arrive. And that's something interesting to think about. We'll see if, you know, if that has any merit or if it's just more additional supplementary dialogue. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!